Most people can only ever imagine what it's like driving a Formula One car right to its limits. Only a select few really get the chance. But hopefully, with the help of this man here, Valtteri Bottas, we can give you guys a flavour of some of those experiences. Valtteri, if you take these, Thanks. I'll come and be your annoying passenger. Okay, How about let's that? Let's see what we can do with this car. So we are in E63 Mercedes AMG, one of the quickest road cars that you can use daily. 600 horsepower, 0 to 100 kph, it's about 3.5, so it's pretty, pretty quick. So nice, this is a serious nice road car. Suspension. Driving a car like this, which is really fast, really good, it's still like completely slow motion compared to Formula 1. some high-speed corners now but I can easily talk to you yeah exactly. um, I'm not getting thrown around that much there's no way I could do this say in the W10 yeah you can't get high-speed corners you can't even breathe you know? you thought you were in the F1 car for a minute there didn't you <laughs> so in the road car obviously it's designed for comfort but the Formula 1 car is is one mission is to be as fast around this racetrack as possible. So the driver often suffers as a result. Just explain to the fans watching what goes through your body, what's different the experience you have in the F1 car compared to the laps that we're doing here. Yeah, so I would love everyone to experience proper g forces. It's always quite difficult to explain, but basically it feels like excel type of corner, high speed corner like here, and your body just wants to squeeze to the outside. So your body weights uh, with 5G, it weights five times your own body weight. And, you know, of course we have supportive seat, everything that helps, but still you do need a, like a strong core, strong glutes to keep your kind of whole package together. Strong upper body and especially the neck, because if you want to see, if you want to have good vision, you want to have, be able to keep your head straight. Yeah, you don't want like your this. neck wobbling around all over <laughs> yeah, the place. Exactly. Yeah, exactly, otherwise, you can't drive. And this is yeah something that most people just cannot comprehend what you guys are going through in the fastest F1 cars of all time exactly. that you're driving at the moment yeah. and particularly in high speed corners. I've got a seat here. It's carbon fiber. Mm. So you're not sitting on any foam at all. And I guess it's again to feel every sensation coming through the car. Uh, seat of the pants driving, they exactly. call it, it really is. It's strong, it's lightweight and yeah, you don't want too much cushioning because you, you do want to feel everything in the car, you know, even the lockups, it's small vibrations, um, engine, wheel spin, everything you want to feel as well as possible. You can't get away with a seat that doesn't fit right in a Formula no 1 car way. at all, can you? It's not like a road car or any other category of motorsport that I've done where you think, oh, the seat's not quite right, but I'll put up with it. You need it right in one of these, yeah? Exactly. You need to be so comfortable in, in the car that uh, there's no pains or, you know, nothing, no, no hard spots anywhere. Otherwise, you can't focus on the driving. And there's even, you know, a big risk for injury. For example, if the rib shape is not, not correct, you can really break your ribs or uh, especially if there's, a, there's an accident. This road car, we've been having good fun in it. Yeah. And we've probably pulled a maximum of one and a half G exactly. in what we're doing. Yeah. So uh, just to put that into perspective, an F1 car will pull about 1G just in liftoff and deceleration <laughs> exactly, yeah. before you even think about touching the brake pedal. So. Exactly, yeah. And the amount of um, work we need to do on the, on the neck to be able to drive in the level that we need to be able to drive is so much training you need to do for the, for the neck in the winter and then still always the first test after the first day you wake up and can't move your head so <laughs> and during the season you're always your neck just it's building up you it's get you get bigger. match fit don't you in a way but uh it's fascinating stuff and thanks so much for talking us through and let's have some fun before we get back into the pits